One of my favorite parts about hosting this show is being able to try local favorites when it comes to restaurants and pubs. This is the area's largest pub, 82 on tap, and a menu that's sure to satisfy. Foster's Pint and Plate, let's check it out. Hey Aaron, how's it going? Good man, how are you today? Doing well. What's doing your name? Well. Brandon. Brandon. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty and I'm hoping you're going to tell me I'm at the right place. I think you are. Hey, how are you? Wonderful. How are you doing today? Doing great today. Excellent. I'm Aaron. Aaron, nice to meet you. I'm Raul. I love trying food with a great menu, of course, and I love that you have 82 beers on tap, but my main love is to try places I've never been before, okay. and this is one of those. So what can you tell me about your menu or any specials? We've got great happy hour specials from three to six every single day. We serve pretzel sticks for a dollar, pork sliders for a dollar, and wings for only three bucks. Can we pretend that it's between three and six right now? Why not? <laughs> Why not? I like you already. Talk to me a little bit more about the menu and, and you know how they came up with some of the items. One of our top sellers, the shrimp and grits. The shrimp, they have this kind of herbal spice to it. And then grits are probably the best grits I've ever had. I think we that. make them right. And then this, how do you, what am I saying right here? Ah, Corquito the, Valiente. Puerquito Valiente. Translated in Spanish means brave pig. The brave pig that wasn't brave enough apparently. because <laughs> <laughs> The brave pig in Razorback country. Right. <laughs> mm. I'm going to talk to your general manager about a compromise on one of everything. Does that, that sound about right? <laughs> I think he should be something out. Hey man, how are you? I'm Aaron. William. That's me. You the general manager? Uh, yes, sir. Awesome. You want to have a seat? Mind if I? Sweet. Yeah, let's chat. You're going to interrupt me trying to pick one of my 82 draft beers that you have on tap. Yeah, we have a lot. What's the story behind Foster? The concept came from Chris Moore, the owner, and Kyle Brummel. Chris has a plane, and Kyle taught him how to fly the plane. And so while they were up there, Kyle was doing his instructions. They started talking about brewing beer, and they started talking about restaurants, and, and they kind of came up with this idea. The thought behind it was a brew house to kind of show the, the aviation interest that they both have. I was saying earlier, I love trying places I've never been to before. If you're talking to somebody like me who's never been here out in the street, how would you describe a visit to Foster's? Oh, well, first off, we have a lot of beer. And, and, the, <laughs> and the beers rotate, and it's a very eclectic. When you come to a place and you want to enjoy beer, there are certain items that lend itself better to beer. You have wings, you have pizzas, you have pretzels. There's a lot of variety, so we try to appeal to a lot of tastes. If you're into beer and maybe your wife isn't, she wants a good Chardonnay or Savion Blanc, we'll be able to take care of that as well. You've got the menu, you've got the location. It's not like you're in the traffic, but you're right here by the traffic. Yeah, and when we started, the apartments weren't there, uh, the restaurant wasn't there. I guess there's gonna be a distillery mm -hmm. right down the street. But we have a huge patio, 21 foot fireplace, oh, wow. and uh, plants are out there and sunshade. It's, it's a really nice place to hang out. and. And I think it, it helps that you're not on the busy traffic area. So I'm gonna go back and check on your order. All right, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, and I got another question. Yeah. Can I tag along? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's do it. So, got one question. Yeah. You wanna help? Yeah, you know what? I make a mean grilled cheese. <laughs> gonna, I can probably make something in here. We're gonna make something similar. All right, let's do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our shrimp and grits. These are what we're talking about, the, the gold shrimp. You can smell they're a little bit sweeter. So here we go. Really, really hot pan. Quickly add our shallots. We deglaze with beer. Oh, yeah. You got to have the butter. And then you mount that. We're going to dish up some stone ground grits. Presentation is obviously just as important to you as the flavor. It is, but we also remember where we are. We're in a brew pub uh, with comfort food. So we do try to make sure it's presented in a proper fashion, but we don't want to intimidate guests or we don't want to seem more pretentious than we are. And that's shrimp grit. So this is the brave little pig. You're gonna want a pan that is semi-hot Okay. Because we're going to be rendering out the fat of, the, of bacon. See, bacon's so weird because you want to smell it, but you also want to dodge the pop. Yeah, you don't want to get it popped in your face. Yeah. We can go ahead and add our mushrooms because yeah. they are, they're cremini mushrooms. We're going to add our pearl onions. And let's pop your white beans in. Okay. 
Now, the, the white beans are gonna mix in here. So that's heavy cream. Heavy cream. And then we're just gonna now let that, up. yeah, we're just gonna let that reduce. Now, we wanna get this pan hot, and if you wanna grab the pork belly, when we take it out of the oven, we'll flip it, and it'll be delicious. We have some fresh sage that we're just gonna sprinkle around. Beautiful presentation, but I must admit, I'm more excited about eating it. From the kitchen into the bar area, 82 on tap. This is like the holy grail of craft beer. And a lot of them are local, you talked about. Most of them are local. And, and even if they're not local per se, they're not far away. And we talked about, of course, there is a brewery here on location. There is a brewery here on location. And, and it's right behind us, and it's called Rendezvous. Rendezvous Junction. Jonathan's back. So this is Brave Little Pig. On the menu, it's Porquita Valente, right? Puerquito Valente. Puerquito Valente, right? Puerquito Valente. Oh, you got to give it that. Uh, Puerquito <laughs> Valente. So how do you dig into one of these? Straight down? No, but at all the cooking shows, they always have some clever way to describe what they're tasting. The Brave Little Pig in Razorback Country, I think it's just dang good. 